The Cessna made a hard landing on the streets of Buena Park. It touched down on Commonwealth Avenue and Indiana Street late this afternoon. Tonight, KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler is live in Buena Park. And Stacy, you actually spoke with a pilot? Yeah, Susie, he landed right here behind me on this busy street. He told me that he's trained really hard for this and that he was ready and he said he was lucky. But I can tell you that business owners and residents who live here who watched the whole thing and they described the traffic just parting before him say it was nothing short of a miracle. Happy to be alive. When flight instructor Benjamin Dennis lost power in the 1975 Cessna, he's flown for six years. So I was honestly thinking about dodging light poles. <laughs> Minutes after taking off from Fullerton Airport, he knew he had to take control of the plane from his student and land on Commonwealth, a normally busy street known for heavy traffic, especially during rush hour when this security tape shows he was forced to use it as a landing strip. In my life flashed before my eyes. Glenn Gandera was sitting on his front lawn when he watched as the plane landed in the center divider, missing traffic altogether. I see a plane go down the middle of the intersection directly in the middle island like it was trying to avoid traffic on both sides to save people's lives. Linda Finnegan couldn't believe her eyes when she saw Dennis and his student walk away without hurting themselves or anyone else. It's amazing. Yeah, it really is. Even today, this street has been super, super busy. Except when the plane went down. It was like there wasn't a car on the street. It was so unusual. Dennis said he and his student were doing practice runs. During the last takeoff, he was able to climb 200 feet up, then lost power on the engine with a full tank of gas. It's ironic, but he says he and his student had mentally prepared for the hard landing. On our first takeoff, I actually had question my students say, okay what happens if you lose power right now where would you land he said oh I go I go over there on Commonwealth second landing we did it it's something we're going to remember for the rest of our lives yeah pretty amazing uh, right now the NTSB and the FAA continue to investigate just what caused this crash